So I'm standing here with David Auerbach from Sanaji in Kenya. His project is um, the Fresh Life. Um, it's actually not, it's more than a project, but you can explain that just now. So what is um, special about your project slash approach slash business? Sure. So at Sanaji, we're making hygienic sanitation accessible and affordable in East Africa's urban informal settlements. Uh, we do this by taking a systems-based approach that addresses all of the challenge is across the, uh, the sanitation value chain. In this way, I think we're quite unique. Yeah, and you do that already at quite a large scale, I believe. So right now, we have 350 facilities run by a franchise network of about 190 operators. These are residents from the community who are running them as small businesses. They're serving approximately 15,000 people every single day with hygienic sanitation. We collect that waste from each of those toilets every single day in a hygienic and sustainable manner. Uh, we, to date, we're collecting about seven tons per day, which we safely remove from the community. We take it to a centralized facility, and we're converting that into useful byproducts, such as organic fertilizer and renewable energy. Great. Uh, what would you say have been your biggest achievements so far with this? Um, so I think the fact that we've been able to demonstrate that there's a model out there that can address the entire sanitation value chain is a really important big step for the larger, uh, the larger space of how do we make sanitation sustainable in urban slums. What have been your major challenges or barriers, difficulties that you have faced? Sure. I mean, there's, you know, you're working in informal settlements, which of course are, are the toughest communities uh, to work in the world, I think. Um, you know, right now, uh, we actually, that was a good problem to have, but we ran out of space for where we could put all of the waste. And so um, we recently relocated our waste management uh, site to, you know, about 20 minutes outside of the community where we're working. And in that space, we're now actually able to uh, set up an automated uh, production plant for fertilizer. Uh, that's going to give us the capacity to, to serve over a thousand toilets, uh, which is which will be about 50,000 users in the coming year and a half. Speaking about the future years, what are your plans for scaling this up to reach the millions? Or cool. Yeah. I mean, right <laughs> right now, you know, we um, right now we're we're really doubling down on Makuru, the industrial area of Nairobi, where we're working already. Um, because we really think it's important to, to achieve high percentages of coverage um, in the communities that we serve. However, with that information, that's giving us the ability to make this an inherently much more scalable model to take it to other cities, first throughout East Africa, then West Africa, and then hopefully uh, India here. And have you had any collaborations with other Gates Foundation grantees? Yeah, across the value chain, we've been working with a variety uh, of the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge grantees. Um, Maybe we can look at sure. That. So, yeah. So here, so one of our main partnerships is with the Climate Foundation, um, which uh, they are producing biochar uh, through a process called pyrolysis. Um, this is like a really exciting opportunity for us because biochar can be used both as a soil amendment or, or conditioner to improve the soil um, for for Kenyan farmers or you can actually use it as a simple fuel source too. Um, so we see a tremendous opportunity uh, if this technology gets to, uh, <coughs> is, is viable in the market. Um, and so we're excited to work with, with Climate Foundation in order to find that out. Um, we also, this isn't just limited to what we convert the waste into. We also work with AVAG, um, which is the uh, Swiss uh, Federal Research Institute that focuses on water uh, and, and has expanded into sanitation too. They've de de developed a, a toilet called the Blue Diversion Toilet. And so while we have our own toilet, the Fresh Life Toilet, we're excited to work with these guys because you know, they have tremendous engineers uh, who are looking at the challenge a little bit differently. So for example, with our facility, uh, the, the waste drops into a hole and you know it's possible for people to see the previous person's effort. They're actually thinking of a, a way that you could make it so that you don't see the previous person's uh, effort, which would really be massively appealing to our entrepreneurs. Great. Well, thank you very much. Cool. Is that all right? <laughs>